Hello everyone. Trust you all are doing safe and doing great. I thank you all for enrolling yourself for this event. We are back with a new session on EIE Fresh Talk, presented by Excellent Excel, a company which started in 2010 as an edutech firm and over time expanded into data analytics. We strongly believe for that. For a world driven by data, information is power, and excellence is our brand. Our core services are into analytics, consulting, and training. Let me give a small gist of what is EIE Fresh Talk all about. EIE Fresh Talk is where we are hosting great leaders and experts from various fields to speak regularly on a variety of topics, ranging from finance. And analytics. Let's have a look at our past fresh talks. Five must-have charts in any finance person's toolbox, which was conducted by Chandu. Spreadsheets and forensic correlation, which was conducted by C. A. Saran Kumar. Seven Excel features pros used to be more efficient by Mr. Sumit Bhansal. Our topic for this session is new formulas in MS Excel and its use cases by C. A. Vijay Agarwal. Vijay Agarwal is a big data analyst and automation expert. He is chartered accountant and company secretary with 27 years of experience. He is currently a freelancer providing advanced Excel trading to corporates and institutes. He has been awarded the Microsoft Most Valuable Professional Award four times so far. He is reputed trainer, especially with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, and has trained thousands of chartered accountants through seminars and webinars. Vijay Agarwal also conducts many seminars and sessions in Excel for corporates clients on a regular basis. He has a website and YouTube channel. With the brand name Champ Excel. I also request audience to welcome our expert speaker C. A. Vijay Agarwal. Please write hi in the chat box and welcome our expert speaker C. A. Vijay Agarwal. I request all the audience you can type your questions or comments on the chat area there will be dedicated time for the presenter to answer your questions thank you over to you so thank you thank you neha thank you excel in excel for inviting me for this great session so really it's my pleasure to be part of your organization and to share my knowledge whatever little bit i know about excel friends today's topic new formulas of microsoft excel 365 so that's really really wonderful changes wonderful formulas microsoft has given with microsoft 365 2016 2019 but particularly for microsoft 365 version those formulas those dynamic arrays those are the new formulas those are going to be really going to change the world like anything so today in next one hour i am going to share my little bit knowledge little bit like how in what scenarios these formulas we can use why microsoft has moved from like earlier formulas to these formulas what are the added advantage how we can make our life simple how we can make our uh, like work very much automated so all those things like i am going to cover with few examples so let me share my screen with you friends uh, sir you can also activate your uh, video sir आपका वीडियो भी ऑन कर सकते राइट सॉरी इज इट फाइन यस सर यस सर ओके यस सो फ्रेंड्स 
I was telling that Microsoft Excel, Microsoft has introduced lot of new formulas. So we are going to discuss all these formulas, maybe 10, 10 minutes, like for each formula I'm going to give, and then whatever questions you are going to have. So I'll try to answer all those questions. So as I told Microsoft every third year, so they are going to come with some latest versions, some new versions. So if you have noted in 2007, there was a drastic change compared to 2003. Then in 2010, 2013 also, a lot of new things came in 2013. They came with a, a very great feature that was flash fail, artificial intelligence. So now in 2016 also, they came a lot of new features like that is text join is there. Uh, there are, and in Microsoft 365, now you know, so where uh, Microsoft is doing a lot of marketing and in future, I believe Microsoft is going to switch all the, like their users to this Microsoft 365 platform. So there they have come with a lot of, lot of new things. So what are the, all those things and particularly in formulas? So those things let's discuss. So here, are you able to see my screen? Neha, are you going to do as a moderator also, like in between, like maybe I'm going to ask some questions. So maybe you say that, okay, yes, no, it's going fine. Yes, sir, it, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So it's always feel, I always feel connected with the audience. So Definitely. maybe if, uh, you or Neha, so those are going to be parts so in between, like maybe if I'm going to ask something. Okay. So Great. there's a 30 seconds delay between what you speak and uh, YouTube. So we'll just get your answer. Yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. So, uh, but you are on, uh, like with me only. So yeah, there, with there should, uh, yeah, there should not be any delay. Yeah. So I was saying that, uh, like these are the new formula of Microsoft 365. So one is text join, right? Then X lookup. Wonderful, wonderful formula X lookup. Like in coming days, in coming months, like I'm going to say like, uh, Earlier, if somebody, uh, if I'm going to ask you, uh, ask some question, if uh, on interview, somebody, if I take interview that, okay, uh, you know, Excel, like how, how uh, good you are in Excel. So instead of telling about the Excel, about the, uh, his knowledge, he say, the, he says that, yeah, yeah, I know Excel. I know VLOOKUP also. Like VLOOKUP was the synonym of the Excel, but that VLOOKUP, that got changed to this XLOOKUP. And now this X lookup is going to change our uh, like working style, our this uh, like working on Excel, like tremendously, like in a great way. So how uh, this X lookup is going to work that also I'm going to discuss. Then this formula unique that like very awesome formula I can say, like uh, sometimes like I was always believed, uh, wish that, okay, why not in Excel, uh, like such type of things are there. Like if I want some unique in data validation, I want that, okay, my big database is there. And I want that, okay, my unique list is there. That unique list should be dynamic. And that dynamic list I can use anywhere. So such type of things actually I always wished. Then the sort formula is there. So in case of sort formula, like how we can use sort, and with sort, there is a also sort by. So both these formulas are also like more or less same type of things. Just you have to understand. If you understand the sort formula, then I don't think there should be any problem. Then there is a filter. So this filter formula, that's such a like powerful formula. I can say even the pivot table, whatever we can do in pivot table, most of the things like we can do with the help of filter, there is no refresh. And even there are like shortcomings of uh, pivot table. Sometimes like in pivot table, it's not possible uh, like things uh, doing in our way. But with the help of filter, that will be dynamic and that will be very easily we can do. And when we are going to use all these formulas in combination, like when we are going to use unique formula, when I am going to use sort formula, when I'm going to use filter and then combination of these formulas, that you are going to see a very great dish, this Microsoft Excel, uh, this, these formulas are going to give. And then there is a very uh, good formula, sequence formula also. That also going to be very helpful. And at least once you have this knowledge, then maybe in a future, whenever you are stuck somewhere, so you can use that, okay, such type of things are there. So maybe uh, you people are not having right now Microsoft 365 version. 
maybe most of you are not having excel 2016 so you are using excel uh, this uh, 2013 or 10 right but don't worry maybe whenever you are going to switch over then you, these formulas are going to be helpful and once today i am sure when you are going to see the benefits when you are going to see the power of these formulas then definitely you are going to switch over microsoft 365 within a week or maybe i'll say maybe tomorrow or maybe today itself that's the beauty of these formulas so let's discuss with the help of data right friends so i am going to open my this for uh, this file excel file so let's see so now let's talk about the formula of text wine why we need this text wine why there was need so when i was working in excel like you know i'm working in excel since 1998 and whenever i was using the formula of concatenate so i always wished that yeah in in this concatenate there is like some pain is there like in concatenate every time whenever i'm doing something like it is going to take lot of time what was the pain in in this uh, concatenate like you know uh, let me tell you with some example okay so let me give you some example like if you are having this formula and this is the sum if you want to do the sum what you are going to do equal to sum right and when you are going to do you can give the range once you have given the range enter so automatically it is going to provide you the total that okay what is the so the range up to 17 yeah yeah that's why so now it is going to give you the result 476 but sometimes like when i used to do some concatenate like if i want that okay uh, when i am having this uh, like email id and i want that okay all these uh, email id should be in a single text so earlier if when i am going to use this formula this concatenate so what it it uh, it's going to happen when i am going to do concatenate right this is old formula which is in 2007 which is in 2010 13 so here it's not possible that okay i am i can give like this is the range if i am going to give this range and if i am going to put the enter so right now you see because right now it, this was in the same line so here it is going to give me value so it is telling me that okay this concatenate formula is not going to work so when it is going to work when i am going to do like single then i am going to do again second then i am going to do third and when i am going to do like this then only this formula is going to work like that what is the pain point if in between if i am going to do some changes like if i am going to delete something you you see so then concatenate like it is taking this space also and if i am going to do uh, some new line like let's see i am going to put some new line and if i am going to put vijay so now this vijay is not part of this right because it is taking only vijay but in case of the formula which we are having for the sum of uh, like range so there was uh, such type of things were not there so everyone like when i i was having this uh, my training so everybody wanted that okay sir is there any way that we can connect all the things like the range we are going to give so for doing that microsoft has come with the formula that is the text join formula and there also a formula concat that is just because of the in case we are going to have the different new versions so compatible for the version so instead of concatenate they can use concat so when we are going to use concat so then it which it can take the range also like if i am going to put the range automatically it is going to concatenate concat but here in concat if i want to give the like delimiter that okay comma is there or i want the space is there or some uh, different like character if i want so in that case that is not possible for that microsoft has come with uh, when he, it came with the concat so there is a formula text join formula so in this text join there when you are going to type this text join right so this is a text join formula and all these formulas are going to work friends in microsoft 365 only 
right so in text join when i'm going to select this text join so here when i go and i see that function arguments so here it is asking what is the delimiter so here i can give that okay what is my delimiter i can say that okay comma is my delimiter right so comma and space then ignore empty right by default it, it is going to ignore empty now text one so text one i can give the range and here if i'm going to give the range this is my range that okay a14 to a22 and when i'm going to do okay so you see automatically it is going to give me this comma comma and space like automatically it is going to now if i'm going to delete some cells in between like i'm going to delete some cells automatically it is going to adjust right if i'm going to put something else one two three right and automatically you see it is doing perfectly fine one two three four five six seven so that is a beauty in text join we can connect everything with a delimiter so earlier in all the versions whatever versions we are having so that facility was not there so this text join is going to make our life very easy so earlier what we used to do like here if i want to connect all these three names so there was a shortcut that is the ampersand that is the and feature so what i used to do equal to and and then because there is a space so i don't want i want suri so if i am going to put again this it is going to take without space then i have to give space also manually right and then if i am going to connect again it is going to take only first and third now i have i have to do manually the second character also so the same problem was with the concatenate also but in case of text join again because of this formula which i told you so this problem will go away and automatically with the help of delimiter it is going to take that okay comma space and then comma again comma and if i am going to take this range automatically delimiter so here i am going to give this delimiter or this range i am going to give here and now after this comma space is also there okay so now you see or if i want only space so i can put only space also here so here automatically it is going to connect right so like that you can do any type of concatenation a, a concat and if you want to put all this first last email phone number in one column so you can do so you can give some uh, other characters also so it's not uh, you can give only single character maybe you can give multiple characters like here instead of that you can give some range also let's see i am going to give some range and put it absolute and when i am going to connect this now i can put here that okay i want star has space so it is going to put has space so anything if i want that okay i want some star so like this this is also can work so anything if i want so those type of things that is going to work so that is a thing we can use with the help of this formula right so that is the first formula which we covered so now let's move to the x lookup how this x lookup is going to work so let's see so this is a table and all these data which i am having so maybe like other mvps also like other sites also which i am uh, like always following so sometimes i am taking help from this site sometimes i am taking help from microsoft so all are very very helpful so here you see i am having this data that okay this is the name and these are the like the sale value that okay what sales actually they have done for the different different months jan feb march april may okay and here if you see december is also there that is the previous year and this is for the current year and now like i want to see that okay for the name of this ajay nagpal this is the name okay so here i want to see for december what is the value like how much like the sale uh, for ajay nagpal for december month or for january month or for february february month right so i have connect uh, selected here december january february march so i have given a data validation so now i can see that okay i want to see the for february value so earlier when i used to give this fair value so there was the we look up formula okay when i am going to give we look up so in we look up i can give only the which column i want to find out so 
I have to give that okay comma. Then I am going to give the range array. But in this array, what was the issue? Here it is always going to connect left to right only, not right to left. If I want to have the value of December, then we look up was failed. So there was work around, and those work around was not very user friendly. It was uh, taking like time also, and sometimes like when uh, I want lot of flexibility, so those flexibility was not possible with the help of those formulas, right? So then, if I'm going to give this fab, that okay, first, second, and third, third, and then zero, like the false. So it is going to give me that okay, Ajay Nagpal, their value is eighty four, right? So it is going to work perfectly fine. Instead of that, I want that okay, I want for. Deepak Narang, so that is the value of eight. That is perfectly fine. But if I am going to change it Feb to April, now automatically uh, only eight is there because I have selected the third column. So now third column is there. Instead of third column, if I want to make it dynamic, so generally like people were not aware, I used to use the match formula. So again the match was taking time and it was not so user friendly. So And then when I am going to do for December, then it's not going to work. Then I used to work the index and match formula. So now there is no need of VLOOKUP, no need of index match, no need of edge lookup. Even edge lookup, that is the horizontal lookup or VLOOKUP, vertical lookup. Everything is going to work in the same formula. That is the X lookup. So with the help of X lookup formula, we can take the benefit, uh, the power of all these formulas: VLOOKUP, index, match, edge lookup. and even more than that and one more thing x lookup is very very powerful for uh, this the uh, calculation speed that is very tremendously high very very high so uh, like when earlier like if you are going to have the we lookup and our data is maybe the 5 lakhs rows are there and if i am going to put the we lookup maybe thousands of rows are there so my system was going to sometimes not responding and it was taking time lot of time that okay 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and i remember like when the people who were working on the big data like the asset asset register there are like lakhs of assets are there so what they used to do in case of vlookup they in evening they used to put the vlookup formula while going to the home and put the vlookup formula and when they came next day in morning then they came that okay oh my god i pray to god that my vlookup formula should work so that type of things actually they used to do and if there is a change again the vlookup formula was going to take lot of lot of time but now with the help of this dynamic arrays new formulas new calculation engine so those things are very very fast even the 10 lakhs rows or 5 lakhs rows whatever things are there and even like multiple columns that is going to work very very fast so now see that okay how it is going to change that okay instead of we look up how this is going to be very very helpful for us so here i am going to put x look up okay so this is the x look up now see what is the syntax right because of time constraints so it's not that okay i'm going to cover all the syntax but maybe at least you people are going to have some idea right but uh, in case you want that okay you want to do some mastery on x look up so maybe like i used to say that to the people on we look up i can i can take a session of 8 hours 8 hours only on we look up for whom who the people who feel that okay we are the expert in we look up right so some master class i also used to take such master class and those master class are available on my website also so here like that in x lookup also we can spend 8 hours 10 hours but right now just have a like the feel that okay how it is going to work so first thing what is the lookup value so here i am going to say that okay this name that is the my lookup value then lookup array that okay where which is the lookup array so this is the lookup array earlier we used to give the full range but now what we can give whatever which column i want to find out this deepak narang so this is the that okay this is the name that is the i want to find out so this is the range if i want to make it dynamic but right now there is only single cell so maybe we can put it uh, without dynamic uh, this dollar absolute but if i want to put i can put dollar sign return array that okay what i want to return so now first take that okay i want only for april so if i am going to put here value that okay april so i have given here value that okay this is the april value right so this i have given so these are the three which are the mandatory that okay lookup value lookup array return array 
then if not found you see if not found like if error is there so earlier we used to put the new formula that okay if there is a error so if error is there so there we used to uh, take the help of two formulas but that if not found if i want to do here so automatically here i can put that okay if not found whether i want blank whether i want zero or whether i want to do put some new formula so that type thing i can give here so if error that is also redundant with uh, when i'm going to use this x lookup so now if i'm going to say that okay so now you see deepak narang april and that the 35 values if i'm going to change that okay ayush gupta so automatically 45 yes you see 45 value is there now if i'm going to change this april and i say that okay i want for january but already it's uh, 45 only but it's the value should be 49 now what i can do again i can take the help of x lookup so now i took the help in from vertical left to right now i can take the help that okay top to bottom okay so how it is going to work so let's see that okay it is going to find the month name also that which month which column it is lying so that is going to be dynamic so now let's see i am i have to give it the return array right now i have given f f column is the return arrow why this f is there that is dependent on the month that this month is there and this array is there so instead of this array now i i would like to make this arrow array also dynamic so how i am going to make this array dynamic let's see so again i can put x lookup formula again this x lookup formula is there so now what i want to find i want to find this jan okay this jan i want to find where i want to find this jan so here i am saying that okay from starting like a column 2 and till here i can give the whole first row also so here i can uh, first uh, i give this comma and then i have given this is the range okay this is f4 i have done then this is the lookup array so this is going to find the lookup array now it is asking return array what is my return array so i can give my return array is this is my return array i have given this is my return array and here i have put again this i didn't put comma so let me put some first comma f4 then comma and i am going to put this array so this is my array so now it is going to work for my index match or maybe this h lookup and then if i am going to put enter so you see ayush gupta how it is going to uh, see you see b82 b17 and here i am saying that okay c3 let's see definitely some mistakes like we have done so here i am saying that we look up value is c3 so instead of c3 i should have given jan because i am taking the month name so instead of that i didn't give the month name and when i put this okay so now you see ayush gupta january 49 value so ayush gupta 49 and if i am going to put here december also so it is going to put the december value also so now left lookup right lookup everything is going to work in this x lookup just we have to understand just we have to do the practice we have to see the syntax that okay how it is going to work like you see like when i am going to put some error uh, like instead of uh, month name i have given the name so here in this first lookup i am asking xr x lookup that okay in first lookup here you should find the value of c3 that is the name lookup array like which lookup array this is the b column and this return array so here first i have given this x lookup that okay first you find that month name then month name it is going to decide which row or which column this is going to take the value for the return array that is the return array so automatically dynamically it is going to give so this x lookup formula is going to be very very helpful right so now we move to the third formula and this formula is very nice unique formula that uh, if you say uh, like this is one of my favorite formula of the new formulas unique formulas you see the beauty that okay how this formula is going to work for me so you see i am going to have some data right so here i am having that customer names are there so in these customer names my boss asked me that okay 
who what are the unique customers with whom you have done the business earlier if you used to do the uh, this thing so what we used to do earlier control c and i used to take that okay control v here and here i used to go on this data right and in this data i used to go remove duplicates so here remove duplicates i used to do okay so this is telling me that okay these are the 20 names these are the unique names for with whom the company has done the business in last one year right but by uh, like by chance if my this data is going to change if i am saying that okay some deepak ji is also there now if i go here deepak ji is not there again the same thing i have to do auto again so it is not dynamic in case like if i am going to use the pivot table then i had used to do the refresh so there are a lot of like pain point of uh, pivot table also like uh, in pay, uh, pivot table so those type of things are were not possible so now with the help of this dynamic arrays dynamic formulas so how the, the life is going to change so let's uh, let's see so what is the dynamic arrays dynamic arrays is there like earlier if you know like if i am going to have some uh, formula or some table uh, let's see i am having some data this data is there earlier if i used to do that okay equal to so i can say that okay this is deepak narang and b8 so it is only single cell but earlier if i used to do equal to and if i used to give this range whether result will come or not so in earlier like if you are having version 2013 2007 2010 if i am going to put here so it will show error and but here if i am going to put so you see automatically dynamically whatever things i am giving in this range automatically it has taken but in your case like if i want to bring in your case so if i am going to put here at the rate after equal to so you see value so this was the error which you people are going to get in your version if it is 2007 2010 13 or 16 because this dynamic array is also going to work in microsoft 365 so that was not possible here but with the help of dynamic array this is going to get me the things and if i am going to change something here like if i am going to put some value like you see 1000 automatically everything is going to change if i am going to put here neha this will come deepak only deepak so automatically it is going to come here if i am going to delete some data here you see automatically if i am going to delete this is also going to reduce the data so that is the beauty that is the dynamic array so this dynamic array is how is it is going to help in my uh, these different formulas like uh, working style so that you see so now you see i am having this data and i am saying that okay i want to have the company name and in this company name i want to have the unique customers that okay how many customers company has worked with so now you see i want to see the unique so i went here and i put that okay unique you see formula name is unique so now in unique i can give the range that okay in unique if you see what is the sequence so here it is asking mandatory thing is that is array but by column or exactly once those are the different things maybe i'll come also that they are like depending on the time first i let's see how it is going to do the array so here what i can give that okay company name is there and i put range till the end d4 to d372 and when i said that okay so automatically you see this is the things company a a company d d whatever sequence was there you see whatever sequence is there here is company a that is single time after company a that is company d single time now if i say that okay this company a i put here reliance automatically this line has increased that is the company a reliance you see this line automatically so right now i am having uh, so if i put all all reliance you see all reliance automatically it has reduced to only two rows because it seeing that okay unique unique things it's asking and here if i'm going to put deepak now deepak is there 
सो दैट इज द ब्यूटी दैट ओके माई यूनिक कस्टमर नेम लिस्ट इज डायनामिकली दैट इज अवेलेबल अगेन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग नेक्स्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट दैट ओके दिस लिस्ट इज ओके बट समाइम्स वेन आई एम गोइंग टू पुट फिल्टर सो इन फिल्टर यू नो दैट वट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ फिल्टर इन केस आई एम गोइंग टू पुट द फिल्टर वट एवर द नेम्स आर देयर सो इट इज गोइंग टू शो मी ओनली यूनिक नेम्स एंड वट अदर थिंग्स इट इज गोइंग टू टेल मी दीपक जी यू रिमेंबर इन केस वेन एवर आई एम गोइंग टू डू द फिल्टर सो इफ आई एम गोइंग टू पुट हेयर सो इट इज गोइंग टू गिव मी द कस्टमर नेम बट यूनिक नेम एंड वट अदर थिंग्स इट गिव्स यू रिमेंबर लाइक इन केस ऑफ वेन एवर आई एम गोइंग टू फिल्टर सो वट फिल्टर इज जनरली डूइंग वन इज द यूनिक नेम एंड वट अदर थिंग्स इट डूज डज it only displays the what you are filtered yeah that is okay but oh. if you you see here uh, whenever i am going to do the filter that okay this is my category so it, this is going to uh, when i go this drop down so it is going to show me only unique names right yeah yeah, yeah. and what second thing it does those unique names are in the same sequence or some other sequence some when other I, sequence which sequence that is there as per the records as per the records available so as here the data like, available no sir here if i go so it is going to tell me ascending order like it is going to do so the in, unique in the filter okay. yeah hmm. unique and as well as the ascending also ascending order also so that if i am going to do there and if i am going to uh, select the things it is very easy because it is in ascending order i can find the thing that particular name is there or not if it is going to start with s or it is going to start with r so now i am doing this filter unique name and this unique name that is not sorted that is the list whatever the pattern is there so here i am having company a the first then i am having reliance so here reliance is there now i want that okay cast like this list should be uh, like sorted or order also so what i can do here i go here and i say that okay sort and i put here this list sort and if i say here okay so automatically it has sorted also now if i am going to change the name you see here if i say that okay reliance after that i say that okay customer name is sap so automatically here after reliance sap is there but here automatically sequence wise sap is there if i say that okay some new name aaa and if i am going to put enter so you see here on the same sequence but this but now you you will say that is okay that is good but here this is different list this is different list can it can't it be that those list both list are in single column yes definitely so we can do the packing we can do the packing how we can do the packing so here instead of this formula which formula which i have put here unique i can copy this formula control c and here instead of this range i can put here control v so what i am saying that sort as well as unique first it is going to do the unique and then it is going to do the sorting also and if i am going to put enter you see and now this column i can delete now if i am going to change anything automatically my this formula is going to work right so that is the thing that okay i have selected something and dynamically on this line it is automatically it is working and instead of that if i want that okay i want to see the salesman so just i have to give the range of the salesman and it is going to work for salesman also so it is telling me only these salesmen are there akshay is there amitabh is there hema is there katrina is there these are the salesmen sales uh, person who are the part of this data and if this data is going to change automatically everything is going to change that already i have shown you so i have put neha so that is also there so what is the benefit of this now you will say that okay what is the benefit of this that yes now if you remember that okay you want to create some uh, this data validation and in data validation you want that okay i want that okay all the uh, this sales person those the unique name should be available there so you want to take the some report of the sales person so in case sales person those uniques are there so there is a drop down so that should be there earlier what you used to do control c and here 
paste value and then filter uh, remove duplicates but after removing duplicates if i am going to change that was not there so if i am going to put some data validation here that okay i want that uh, some uh, let me do some coloring here and i want some data and i want some validation data validation so earlier if i used to take this list and i am going to give earlier earlier case if i am going to put some these names like this and if i say that okay so this is the name automatically it is showing me that okay these are but if some new name is going to come here if some name is going to change that okay amitabh instead of this if i am going to put amitabh bachchan you got my point here if i say that okay instead of akshay like i put here that okay vijay is there so now you see here amitabh is there but vijay is not part of this if i go here so then this is a old list but now if i am going to change let's uh, control x so this is the list based on the traditional version traditional things now same thing i am going to do different way what i am going to do uh, let's see control c and control v and but now in this data validation i am going to change the things so i say that okay data validation so here instead of this range what i can put here when i am going to put here this value so it is going to show me error you know when this formula came so i used to do like this uh, i am doing some zoom also so i used to do this m22 m12 but when i am doing this m22 m12 so then it is going to give me some error that okay this is uh, like let's see i have put here so it is a uh, taking but when i am going to change the name those name new names are not uh, adding here so now let's uh, say say that okay i put here a i put here b so now new names are there when i am going to go here so here automatically it has taking a b but the last name that is the rishi salman so this name sharukh and vijay is not part of that because it has taken only these range whatever the range i have given that range it has taken so my two names which i have done that is not part of that now how to do that so now microsoft has come very good uh, like example how it is going to work so instead of this range you have to give only the single cell you have to give only this cell that okay m2 you want that okay m2 and after this what you have to give has just you put has key so when you are going to put has key it will treat it the whole range whenever this range is going to change automatically it is going to take care so now if i am going to put okay now you see all the list is there now if i am going to change that here okay my name is there uh, and let's put uh, i am going to put a a and let's let me put here all the names a and in between b b b so now there is two names are there only two names now if i go here so it is showing me a b only two names it is showing but when i am going to put c d e f and even like i am putting some data repeatedly now this range is going to change a b c d e f and here if i am going to change a b c d e f so automatically it is dynamically it is getting updated why it is getting updated because i told excel that okay uh, first this is getting me the unique list and sorted list and then this list i am using in my this data validation and in this data validation for using this list you have to give equal to dollar m2 and then this hash hash is like very very important if you are not going to give this hash then this will not work then this is not going to getting updated dynamically so this is very very important so we can use this formula so now let's move to the other formula so we have covered text join x lookup unique and then sort how how can sort and sort you all already seen that okay we can use this sort formula independently also that like we don't want to the do the unique so just i want to sort the data that is also possible now comes to the next thing that is a filter formula and that this is very very powerful very very powerful this filter filter formula like whatever things uh, earlier used to do the advanced filter so all those things this filter formula is going to use and this is dynamic advanced filter was not dynamic 
every time like i used to uh, change the range I, every time i used to uh, like click on the button advanced filter and it was little complicated like people were not able to like digest or understand it uh, very uh, like uh, easily but now this filter formula has come so how this filter formula will work so let's see with some example so this is my data and i want to see that okay my product name is there my category is there i want to do that okay product and category i want to take here right and there also i want that particular category i want to filter that okay some category is there i want to bring only beverages so here i have put that okay i want to filter only beverages so now product name and in category i want to do the beverages only so how to do that let's see i have put this filter so now go to arguments what is the array which you want to filter so let's see just for understanding i am taking only product name and category then i'll show you with the whole formula also and i selected whole range g3 to h372 right now include an array of booleans of where to represent say row or column so it is asking me that okay now i say that okay what is my filter criteria like you put the filter so here you can give what is your filter criteria so here i can say that okay my filter criteria is this h3 to h3 372 and here i said that this should be equal to this beverage right so this beverage should be equal to this and when i am going to put okay so it is bringing me only beer and only beverage like whatever lines were there so it is bringing me only those line items so it is like the filter it has done and only beverage items are come but now you want that okay i you want some unique category only that okay here i don't want again and again like beer is there so again beer is there again like beer is there i don't want so now we can use the other formula you you remember and what is that formula here in filter we can put unique formula so here i am going to put the unique right and when i am going to put that at the center you see the beauty so this is the and now if i am going to change that okay i don't want uh, like i want to uh, do the category of instead of beverages i want the dried fruit automatically it is i want for candy so now you see only one item is there and it is bringing me this chocolate and candy so now depending on what i want what category i want so this is bringing me data right so this is very very powerful where we can use so those things actually you have to understand so in baked goods there are two items so it is bringing two items so i can bring two items now suppose if i want to do the sorting also like a uh, sorting also and i want to take some this category something big so now let's go to the other item so here in unique i say that okay my jo range so i am taking my range that is instead of this range i am going to bring from here to till revenue five columns i am taking that okay this is my range g3 to 372 now i am putting enter so now you see chocolate biscuits chocolate biscuits and now baked goods but because i have given this unique but all these are not uniques so that's why it has taking all line items i want all line items so i can remove the unique so this is the filter it has bringing now i want to sort also that okay i want to sort also that okay which item i want to sort so again here and i can put that okay this is my sort when i am going to put enter so now automatically it has sorted also that first it has bringing the chocolate biscuits and then it has bringing the scones and this baked goods and this rates so automatically this is working 
and if i'm going to put the unique name also so you have seen that it is going to see the all the unique names and this will bring the things because it will see and if i'm going to add some region also uh, and, uh, and let's see that you want okay some region also there that okay you want a uh, filter by region also so now now let's take some example i am putting region that is control c and here i have put region and this already i have put category this is i have put category so now let's see how it is going to work two things two filters how it is going to work so again i have to go here so let's see if only filter first i have to see filter so this is my array so here i have put include this is the o2 like first category i have given that is the o2 so here further i what i i can do i can give one more range and that range by doing the multiplication and here i can give that okay what is my category so those category i can give that okay h42 this and here i can say that should be equal to here i have put here and i say region should be west right and i should put here in bracket also so that there is no issue this is the bracket i have put and now if i am going to put here okay so here this is error why this is error because uh, like in my topic also i was uh, telling that okay uh, there is two type of error was there uh, will be there one is this calc error calc error there like excel is not able to calculate why this is not able to calculate so now let, let's see the range like i have given the range of g42 k373 so here i should give because region is not part of that in filter so i have should give f f42 k373 and now if i am going to put here enter now again it is uh, giving error so let's see how it is uh, maybe why it is not working let's see first let's remove this and let's remove equal to filter and i'm going to do that okay this is my three categories so i have put this filter this is my range now i'm going to put here in this second include then third one is yes, include so here i am going to give that okay what is my region so here i am going to give that okay this is the fifth to this and i am going to put equal to and here that is the region that should be the west then i put here multiplied by and then i put category here again enter equal to and then i put here again i am taking two categories so i am taking two categories so here i have to give bracket bracket here again i have to give bracket and bracket and after that this i have closed it so now it is going to see that okay whether after this this is true or not this is true or not so whatever both category will be true west region will be there baked goods and mixes will be there so then it is going to filter all those things now if i am going to put here okay so now let's change the region maybe uh, here this is not working yes in west region there was no uh, like baked goods item was not there so now when i change this region to east so that's why like it is it was giving mis uh, like mistake because there was no calculation there was no item so that's why it was not taking so this baked goods and mixes was only in east region so now if i am going to take the beverages and here automatically it is taking east region beverages and it has given me 
that okay that is the only green tea is part of that east region and if i am going to put here west region so you see west region there are lot of things that is beer is also there chai is also there coffee is also there so that type of things actually we can use that is the beauty of this filter formula so we have covered this filter and sort by so sort by like one is the when whenever i am going to do the sorting like let's take the example of uh, like sorting one is the sorting only on the single column so when i am going to do the traditional sorting so it is telling me that okay sort by so sort by which column i want to sort that okay i want to sort by customer uh, uh, this i want to sort by product name so i went here and i said that product name how i want to sort order a to z if i put here okay so automatically it has sorted almonds beer now sometimes i want that okay when i am going to sort this i want to sort by quantity also that may be ascending order descending order but right now it is taking only almonds 47 almonds 55 45 75 74 80 again 59 so i want that okay almonds should be after that quantity should be in ascending order so the same thing if i am going to use i can add level so those levels here i can put that okay i want quantity here in quantity i can say that a to z smallest to largest ya largest to smallest let's see it largest to smallest and when i am going to put okay so automatically almonds alphabetically it is uh, sorted and here it is sorted descending order first higher value then the smaller value like that so in the same way like the sort by formula is there sort by so that is also going to work sort by so there i can give the sequence that okay in which sequence this is going to sort and those sequence can be multiple sequences can be there so let's see uh, like how it is going to work sort by so here i am going to go the sort by formula so this is the sort by first it is asking me range so i am going to give it range that okay this is my range maybe i can give full range that okay this is my formula and this is my list from a to and i have given this and if i am going to create table so automatically this is going to uh, change the range dynamically also if some new lines will be there that will also take care so that is the sort by now let's go to the formula by array 1 so here it is asking order by array 1 sort order 1 so here you have to tell it which array which order you want to sort so now you say that okay you want to sort it with the category dried uh, let's take the category dried fruit and nuts and i have put this category till end sort order so i said that okay is number indicating the desired sort order one for ascending order or default if you put one or blank it will take the ascending order now the second which second range is there now i say that okay i want to sort by quantity right and here i say that okay sequence uh, order my that is the minus 1 minus 1 is the descending order and when i am going to put it okay so let's see how it is going to work you see automatically it has given me data and this data how it is going to work let's see you see my category this baked feature so here automatically this has been sorted by the alphabetically order but this quantity that is sorted by only for descending order so like that we can create the data we can create our report and such type of data like in future what you can do like such type of report you want to make you want to uh, like in case of pivot table you want that okay only unique name should be there here only the uh, like range should be there here the customer should be there so everything you can do with the help of unique name you with the help of sorted name yeah, with the help of filter name everything you can put and here you can put some formulas so that will be everything will be dynamic so that is the things uh, actually we can use of these formulas now let's move to the next formula 
text join is there x lookup is we have covered unique we have covered sort filter sort by and sequence so one is the sequence formula that is also a very good formula how it is going to work let's see earlier if you know when i used to do that okay i want some that okay one is there and after one i want that uh, every item should be three like added so one and four is there and i want to drag it drag till when i want that okay till 300 it should be uh, dragged so when i am going to drag it so i have to go till uh, like 300 so it's not that automatically it is going to create a sequence so if i am going to double click only it is going to take me till i am going to have my data but now when i am going to do use of this formula sequence i want to put some sequence so i can use here you see uh, let's see equal to sequence let's see the function argument so here is its argument how many rows you want to put the sequence one row 100 rows 1000 rows so let's say i am saying that okay i want the five rows so when i am putting five rows if i don't give anything so by default it will take starting from one and how what what number it should be increase one so i am going to put here just so it is 1 2 3 4 5 dynamic formula and sometimes like what happens if i am going to delete this it will not delete but before my formula suppose if i am i have put here some name now what it is showing spill that is a new error one is the kelsey error which i have told you this is the spill error why this spill error is there that in spill error there is some obstacle is there there is something like the data it is uh, like not getting a value so something is there which you should avoid it so now if you are going to delete this automatically this will come so that is the beauty and this sequence right now this sequence is only from top to bottom sometimes you want sequence not in the top to bottom left to right that is also possible sometimes you want it into tabular form so like here you want that okay this sequence should be four rows into five columns so here you can put formula sequence and here let's see how it is going to work so you say that okay how many rows you say that four rows are there how many columns five columns are there so whatever it is asking you give it four rows five columns starting number 10 yeah 100 step how many steps i have to take 10 steps i have to take so 100 110 and like that it is going to work so when i am going to do here sequence single line i am giving i have given here okay you see the beauty automatically 100 110 120 130 140 150 160 automatically it is taking and what i can make it dynamic also i can make it so let's see how it is dynamically so i can put here start number i can put step step number so here i can put that okay handed here i can i have put 10 so now i can put here instead of handed here so let's see i have given this instead of step so i have given this now when i am going to put enter so it is i now if i want to change this handed 1000 now i want to put 1 automatically it will work now i can put here rows also column also that okay how many rows how many columns so i put here right now four rows five columns so what i can do again i can give here that okay this four that is this and this five and here because this is only single cell formula so there is no need to put the dollar also like that there is no need to make that dynamic also uh, this absolute also because we are putting formula in single cell only that automatically it is taking care so that is taking care now if i am going to put here that okay two rows two columns two rows two columns and if i say that okay 10 ten, 10 ten rows so 10 rows is there three columns so three columns are there so automatically by default it is taking so this is going to change our life very tremendously you see automatically this is taking care and this is working fine so this is the formula of sequence formula so this sequence formula we can use in some other formula also 
that okay some sequence is there then we can say that okay i want it in descending order i want in some like other order uh, like in case of some other formula as we can use right so these these are the things actually we can use and now if i want to join text formula i want to join text join i want to join unique also i want to join sort also how how to do that so let's see uh, day before yesterday like i had a very uh, unique query very uh, great query so i am going to tell you that okay how that query i solved with the help of dynamic formulas and that will be my uh, last today and then we can take the question answer so i got a query so you uh, friends you can also put me, me query uh, any time like on my youtube channel is there champ excel so i'll request that okay you can subscribe to my youtube channel and there are lot of interesting videos are there and you know like uh, uh, there uh, in videos so uh, generally uh, english videos are also there because i belong to north india so sometimes like people like in uh, like hindi so i in my this mother tongue so i have put the uh, in hindi language also you can also visit on my website there also lot of products are there some uh, like features are there some courses are there very very nominal price so now you see what is the uh, like thing what the uh, query was there yeah, some this query was from uh, one of the chartered accountant vijay rajinder so he uh, wrote me that okay he is having data jan feb march some numbers are there and in these numbers some numbers are duplicate numbers are there so duplicate numbers are there like one is there again one is there here like seven is there uh, but seven is unique number five so what he wanted that for each row he wanted that it should merge unique as well as puts the comma and only this so result should be like this right now you are seeing that should be the one should not be there and if i suppose seven is again you see i am going to put seven again so this is only one seven eight only green color those names should be there if here only single character like i say that okay this is only one 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 is there so it is taking only one so like that it should have so this formula should be dynamic if it is going to uh, get some new columns let's see some new columns are there uh, let's see unprotect seat and here if i am going to put insert and some new column is there this number and some data if i am going to put here so you see automatically this is also going to work i can put numbers only and name also uh, like anything i want so that i can put here this will work and if the same number will be there six again is there that will not there right so how this is going to work so now i am going to tell you that okay how this uh, query i have solved so uh, i'll start with uh, i'm not going to use uh, the formulas which you are going to use so i'm going to see that okay how it will work so now you know that okay unique formula is there if i want to put some uh, something that okay unique should be there how this unique will work so i have put unique formula unique and when i have given you see like how uh, like mistake we are going to generally make i am going to put a3 to e3 and when i put here enter so you see what it has done so it is giving me 51267 but when i am going to put 5 again so it is giving me 51257 like even if i am going to put 555 so it is giving me 555 so it is not giving me unique values so one will uh, get confused that okay yeah, this unique formula this is not going to work so but when i am going to use this unique formula 10 20 30 20 and when i am going to put put this unique formula in column wise like when i am going to put unique and when i am going to put range so this is taking range but when i am going to put here row wise 10 like uh, when i put here transpose control c is there and here i say that okay right click paste special and transpose this is a transpose now if i am going to put here unique 
so this is not going to work so you will confuse that okay a unique formula is only for the top to bottom no that is not there when you go for the you see this mistake i also did earlier so here by default array so now it is asking me that okay whether you want uh, this by column or by row so by default that is the like row like top to bottom but if i you want to change he here so now you can put here one yeah true so when you are going to put here one so you see here 10 20 30 and it is going to work so now you know that okay my this formula will work but for that i need to change some my unique formula my argument should be changed so i put here unique and then i said that this is the unique formula and i put here comma so that is a true return unique columns return unique rows so i put here true and then i put here so now now it is putting me one two like only but this is taking me from here to there but i want on single column i want to merge it here also now what i can do i can put here text join you see text join so when i am going to put text join so i say that this is the data so here what is my delimiter so delimiter i have put here comma and space so i have put here and now if i am going to put here let's see text join which one i am doing mistake that okay text join this is the delimiter oh that the formula spelling mistake was there so that's why it was not taking so i have put here 1 2 and here in delimiter i can put here this comma and space so this is going to work 1 2 and when i am going to drag this automatically everything is going to unique and text join automatically it is it is going to take care one two if i am going to change the name bat cat hat automatically it is taking so that is the thing but if i want here that uh, instead of that someone wants that okay i want in the different columns so that is also possible so in that case only you have to put unique formula there is no need to put the text join uh, formula automatically this this is going to take care so these are the things uh, which i told you that okay now if i am going to change this number or i can put some random number rand between so you see the beauty rand between 1 to 5 i have putting and if i put here enter so you see if i am going to change the number automatically this is taking care only the green colors it is taking care and if some new columns are there like i have put some new columns insert and if i am going to put here control c control v then also this formula is going to work automatically it is going to work there is no uh, like limit there may be 100 columns there may be 500 columns in all columns like it is going to work single formula and that the single formula i have dragged here and now you want that okay this should be the sorted also this one should be sorted also so what you can do here before unique you can put the sort also that okay you want the sorted one also and you put here enter so now this is a you see unique is there and why this is not uh, sorting 3 4 1 2 is there let's see why this sort that is the unique and then i am saying that okay okay sort index so sort order that is again sorting by default it is uh, top to bottom so here it is asking that okay sort order what is the sort order desired sort order one for ascending sort index a number indicating the row or column to sort by so here you can put that by i want to sort by one or i want to sort by two by column a logical value indicate that desired sort direction false to sort by row true to sort by column so i can put here true now you see 
the same thing which i did in the filter filter by default that is the top to bottom is in the same way sorting by default that is the top to bottom but if i want to sort on the row wise so then i have to change the value to the sort so now automatically it is taking if i am going to change some value and 1000 it is taking 1000 99 it is taking 88 automatically it will work so that's all from my side and now next 15 minutes we can take some questions and thank you vijay ji uh, yes. can we can we take up some questions yeah yeah and these are the some free utilities which we are having on our website uh, like so know your gst number from pan number so even before applying to government or even you have applied so this is how to find immediately like definitely i can assure you that number which i am going to give you within second government is also going to give you the same number so with the help of pan number you can get the gst number gst 2a 3b reconciliation convert number into word convert tally debit credit to positive negative automatically billing utility shortcut key so all those things free of cost like those you can get from our website from our uh, like youtube channel and uh, in the mint uh, like my this website uh, this champ excel is the brand name and my this is the whatsapp number so you can note down so maybe uh, there are some list uh, where we are giving some tips so on whatsapp you can add as a group member so you can just text on this uh, number and we will add you on our group so some tips some uh, new programs so those information you are going to get so now deepak ji we can take some questions so how uh, uh, definitely in the previous slide if you can go yeah i think people will be more interested on that the financial statement and converting tally debit to credit positively yes. and that also yeah 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 we can i i have a uh, like uh, product or syllabus is also there like how to uh, make financial statement from the trial balance so there that is very popular my program and that you can buy from my and it's just a uh, like uh, i'll say how much cost it is going to do uh, just 20 uh, even like 15 dollar only even less than 15 dollar you can take this program and there are a lot of programs just for uh, like five, uh, 7 dollars 10 dollars and just for the mass like we want our uh, like website so i want that okay mass people should uh, get benefited and there are on youtube there are lot of free uh, videos are there so those you can uh, take free of cost good good sir i have been uh, i have seen your uh, work on the tally perspective for converting yes, yes. positive it is definitely adding value for chartered accountants because they spend a lot of time in uh, yeah yeah so whether this yeah yeah so automation uh, things actually we did and in this the automation sir that was my most popular program was there and people mm -hmm. liked it uh, like anything so uh, when we uh, had this uh, our automation uh, so master automation so such type of automation like that is possible so just you have to put that trial balance automatically multiple branches are there multiple data is there you see champ excel consulting just you have to select that okay which report you want so you say that okay april to june and you go to the financial report you can see okay worldwide you can see the report europe report you can see in europe which france now you want to see that instead of europe america when you go to america automatically canada report so this is the dashboard key metrics are there balance sheet is there pl is there all branches are there database is there so just you have to put that trial balance for one month 10 months 5 years automatically it will take care currency uh, conversion it will take care it will take care the grouping also it will take care you want to the consolidation you want to the consolidation of a, a like continent so that is also possible so this is our course so that is uh, like you can take and definitely it is going to give you lot of lot of value so such type of there are many many courses are there which we are having on our website good sir so few right. questions just to yes, address uh, the first question is with respect to uh, filter yes using filter formula can we include some formula also for example they want east region beverage and they want the total revenue this is from mr raj samwal yeah yeah that is possible na like in case we are having the value and here in this value uh, we we can do the uh, like filtering uh, based on the uh, like beverage so let's uh, go to the uh, my file and here i was having some data also so now you want that okay for superman like what is the value of uh, like uh, superman 
right total value of the superman you want to do the so here you can put the filter right and in filter you can put here that okay you want to the filter which value this value you can you want to filter right f22 f99 and here what you can give include which you want to include so now you can give that is the sales person so here you can give that is the sales person and here you can give b2 to f99 that is equal to just a minute sir like you can put here filter and here in filter first friend sir you have to give the uh, like here value f2 to f99 and then you have to give the second filter uh vijay ji do you recommend yes. this method or uh, i would you prefer some if fields better method yeah yeah some if so already always better that like uh, uh, like what you can do that is the best one like you yeah. just put here unique and here in unique you go here and you put here like this and you just put enter so here automatically your unique is there here you want to put the customers so here again you put unique and just you put the customers or here sales for this and in this unique you have to tell it that okay in unique by column so here you have to put true one so automatically instead of this i have to put oh that because automatically it will take unique uh, here uh, by, by default but i want to the transpose so i can put here transpose so this will be the right side here because maruti is there if i delete this maruti automatically this will there and there i can put the sumif formula so you also uh, i mean agree that is sumif is better than uh, complicating with uh, sum and filter and other things yeah yeah like it depends because sum is formula that is like so what we can do we can make our list dynamic that okay uh, our list is dynamic and after this dynamic list then we can use that okay we want to use the sum if for like anything here because i have used uh, here so now this is going to give me only unique values yes sir. So yes sir second yes. question uh, in the unique formula is there possibility to include headings in unique formula headings heading heading yes so we can include the headings but that will uh, if you are going to do the sorting then it will create problem otherwise there is no problem like uh, i am having this customer od so i can put here unique and uh, let's meet give full column i have given full column dd and when i am going to put enter so it is taking me the heading also customer is also there because that is also unique for it there is no problem you got my point yes yes but the problem will be there when we uh, like i want to do the alphabetically so when i am going to put the sort here what will happen deepak ji haan ji then it what will, will happen it, will, it is also a part of the data value so yes, it is yes. also sorted yeah yeah so then unique will go away from here when i am going to put here so now you see adidas is the first number and unique the, that is also uh, that is uh, what is the customer that is also customer. part of this there so that is the difference so now you depend like whether you want uh, this facility or that facility that's the it, you have to decide okay sir uh, most of the audience over here uh, i think they are not into office 365 okay uh, so uh, there there's a repeated question they are not able to find this uh, formula <laughs> they are able to find only uh, microsoft uh, i mean they are able to find only text join 
Yeah, text join so that is part people, that is part are, part yes, of 2016. Text join is part of 2016. So that's why they are finding. So that's why I am saying that okay, we should move to the Microsoft 365. There are so powerful formulas are there, and if you are going to use all these formulas, we can make our life very easy. Our automation will be very quick, and definitely you see the power. Like whatever I am telling you, when practically people are going to use, so they are uh, say that oh my God, like such type of thing. we used to spend hours days and now th- those is the click of a button within second very true sir uh, i mean unique is one such example where people used to spend a lot of time on uh, manually remove duplicates and or either yeah. create a pivot table good mm-hmm. uh, moving on uh, there's a formula by name rep areas areas yes uh, uh, so uh, one of the audience wants to know how they can use it in dashboard this is by excel universe so they want to know how they can use it in dashboard so i have to uh, like explore like okay this areas formulas so right now uh, like if you ask me that okay any business scenario or something like so in like i need the number of reference you have taken sir whether the single yeah. array or multiple array mm-hmm. but in a Range dashboard continuous. context they are asking so sir uh, like let me uh, check so right okay. now like i i i can't say that area no, no. because that is also uh, one of new formulas okay i believe okay. yes sir one more question i mean this is i don't know whether it is relevant to the context please let us know how to calculate number of days in gst for interest calculation by abhishek choudhary number of days in this number of days how they can calculate number of days for gst interest calculation so number of days to so that is standard thing like if i am going to have i am going to have some date like uh, today uh, we are having uh, like 10th july okay 10th july 20 sorry 10th july and 20 so this this is there and if i uh, say that okay uh, 1st july 20 so if something difference if i want to see to so by default like i can uh, do just plus uh, this and minus this so it is going to give me 9 days or 10 days so nothing like that so if uh, i have to know that in case of gst interest calculation what is their start date what is the end date like for the interest period so they have to tell me that okay what is their interest period so that is the simple mathematics one of our audience is closely closely watching you uh, so in one of the slide where you have put a unique thing no sequence ka Mm-hmm. so he wants to know how did he do the conditional formatting so when you type the second number duplicate there was not a green green color yeah yeah so that <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah. yeah 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 so that uh, like something uh, on my this exercise uh, gopi ji yes. yeah yeah gopi ji yeah 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 here like yeah, here yeah. Is, uh, so here if i'm going to put the bat everywhere so you know like this bat is and if i'm going to put here deepak so that will be green color so whenever there is a like duplicate so the first one so that is green but the second one that is duplicate right so here i have put the data uh, this conditional formatting so if you go here home button conditional formatting if you go here manage rules so here is manage rules like i have put here conditional formatting that okay what is this uh, my formula edit rule so here i am telling this you see count if a32 c3 because like i have put some columns and all those things so that's why uh, it is taking uh, like different different thing but otherwise like i have put here a32 c3 whatever my range is there so it is taking that uh, like my uh, this let me tell you should i tell you uh, like uh, by doing something new so that uh, people are uh, let me see it's that okay Con- yeah, conditional formatting let me uh, remove the conditional formatting so clear rules from the ent- entire sheet right so now what i have done i have selected this i have selected this and then i have done conditional formatting first you understand that with the single line so i put here conditional formatting new rule and here in new rule use a formula so here in use a formula i said that it has to count from where it has to count so i have put a formula count starting from this a2 till 
a2 if that is equal to 1 then i am going to do the color that is my color is there fill color is there and i am putting green color and here what i have to change here is the a2 to a2 so here what i have to do instead of a2 this a2 is fixed and this a2 is not fixed and here also a2 i have taking here so this a2 is not fixed a2 to a2 equal to 1 i am saying that and when i am going to put here okay so now you see what it is going to do so it is going to find whatever um, one that is okay i have put here only one and but here is a uh, two so i'll say that less than equal to one i'll go here conditional formatting my screen this is so here highlight cell rules this manage rules so i put here edit rule so here i have given condition a to 2 a to equal to 1 so i said that if my a to 2 a to that is equal to 1 and so when i want to use count ifs or count no no yeah, so instead of yes so count if i am going to put here count if a to 2 a to equal to 1 so if it is going to check that okay if it, if that is 1 so then it will color otherwise it will not cover so comma so, a to sir so here i have put comma and then i am going to put a2 that is my this cell and when i am going to put here okay and i am going to put okay so you see whenever it is going to get single cell so that is going to work and this the same conditional formatting when i am going to apply with the other numbers also so that is also going to work you see bat bat and now if i am going to put here uh, some different name so here i put cat so that is the count if i am asking it ki it is going to count counting start from the from first cell so first cell i have done the fixed and this is second cell i that is the uh, not fixed that is the uh, like relative so whenever it is going to see this so when it is going to find the first character so that will be the uh, count if it will be the one number and when it is going to count the second then it is going to give the white so that is the thing so this is the formula let me uh, show you the formula once again conditional formatting and here manage rules and here edit rule count if a3 because right now my active cell is a3 that's why it is uh, showing me that one and here if i go edit rule you, this formula is working count if a2 to a2 a2 equal to 1 right sir ha sir so thank you sir uh, i know we are in mid of uh, your class also available in uh, no no that's class. Uh, yeah that's fine sir so maybe 5 10 minutes like if uh, one or two more questions uh, are there there, uh, there are no more question in case you want to show the tally debit credit uh, which you can add value for the users yeah yeah it's up uh, i leave it to you sir yeah yeah so debit credit definitely i'll show you Because let me show this will help a lot of audience started to comment in general yes yes so definitely so right now actually my screen which i 
can use uh, start and uh, windows button and escape sir windows no, and escape. that that i am actually doing but uh, just it's got hang ah, yes escape, yeah, yeah. yeah now uh, like it's okay so that let me show you automation tally automation and this tally macro plus minus yes sir plus minus sir. yes yes so that is a, a small utility that is the macro small macro uh, like i have written so here what this macro is going to do so if i want to convert that okay get debit credit like there is a very pain point like you see here debit credit is not there but in cell there is a debit credit like by seeing so what i can put here get debit credit that is the macro and if i am going to put here value so it is going to tell me that okay this is credit or debit in the same way when i am going to put here plus minus macro get plus minus when i am going to put here so it is going to convert me into values and how this ma macro is working so that uh, macro you can take from my youtube channel you can uh, ping me whatsapp and you can also note down this macro view code and this is the macro code you see plus minus macro and that is this get plus minus my cell as raise as double dim and this is a small macro so automatically plus minus it is converting into debit or a positive or negative so this file is available on my uh, youtube channel and this macro is available so you can uh, download from there and you can take the benefit small macro sure. get plus minus and get debit right this will be a very useful tool for most of the accountants yeah yeah for chartered accountants for automation i have also one macro get parent and child like in case here you see capital account reserve and surplus so there are some parent account some there are grandparent account some there are child account so one can't identify which is child account which is parent account so that thing we can do very easily here with this help there is a third macro and that is get parent child so here i can bottom borders so in case of bottom borders when i put here you see this one so here wherever is one that is the parent account and whenever there is zero that is the child account so if i am going to put the zero it is going to put uh, show me the uh, total value is that is okay that uh, that is telling right sir thank you sir it was an outstanding presentation and highly informative thank you for sharing your wisdom to us and our audience i am sure the participants will feel enriched with your knowledge sharing i also thank the audience for your support and taking your time out to attend the session if you join the session late you can watch this video anytime in our youtube channel excel in excel and we also request you to share and learn this new formulas with your friends and colleagues and also help them to save the time for all the participants who have joined with us today we are sure you will be excited to learn more new things so here we are hosting a workshop on lean six sigma on 18 july from 10 am to 6 pm by an iim amdabad alumni who is expert at banking logistics shipping and technology whose global experience include working in large geographies so don't miss this chance out and register yourself by the link given below in the description of this video there will also be certificate of completion of course shared to all the participants and also we have our upcoming sessions on eie fresh talk as follows that is by miss paula on rich data types in ms excel on 17 july 6 pm onwards and our next session is by alan murray on secret lookup functions that deserve your love on 23rd july we are also keen to know your inputs topics suggestions for future sessions you can drop your suggestions in the chat box Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and also share among your friends and colleagues. Stay connected and tuned for the more upcoming fresh talks. Thank you all. Happy weekend.
Thank you, thank you, Neha. Thank you, Deepak, for thank giving me this sir. opportunity you. uh, on your platform. And I am glad to meet all of you, my participants. And whenever you are, if you are having any question related to Excel, always you are welcome. You just drop a mail to me, my email ID, which I have shared with you. So I'll be happy to respond. And always I am learning from your queries only. So when I got this MVP award, that was only because I used to solve lot of thousands of queries on this, uh, like websites on this Microsoft uh, this question answer. So thank really, you, I you. I wish all of you uh, good health and please take care in this uh, Corona days. Uh, Vijay ji, both both thank you. Thank you for instantly accepting our invite. Uh, we will definitely have you shortly uh, sometime in future for much more sessions. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. And this financial, uh, you can have like you are having session for a maybe half a day or one day, like how to make financial statements. So that will be really very, very beneficial for the uh, like chartered accountants and the financial uh, people. Sure, sir. We'll we'll coordinate, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Both Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.